Okay, taking a look again at the little laptop that we're setting up. We've installed uh, Firefox. We've modified Internet Explorer so that it looks the way we like it to. Um, next thing to get going on is some antivirus. So we noticed that when we were first setting it up that Norton's is installed. Um, I might have a free Norton's account. Really don't care. I don't want to use that software. So I'm going to get rid of it. Um, so I'm heading from start up to settings from settings across to control panel and again because I have it set up in the old style menu and because um, I have the menu set to expand I don't have to click on anything I'm just dragging or moving the mouse this whole time and the one I'm heading to is add remove programs I can either just click on it and it'll open or right click and open both ways will get me to the same place um, this is basically a list of all the programs that have been installed on the computer and since it's literally brand new out of the box um, the only thing I've installed myself is, is Firefox so everything on here came with the computer through some sort of an arrangement with Dell either because there's there was a piece of hardware that needs the software um, or they just had a marketing agreement with Dell so let's take a look at what kind of stuff is in here we've got acrobat.com well that probably is an updater or it is the Adobe products, so we'll leave that. Adobe AIR, I have no idea. Adobe Flash Player, a lot of use, a lot of use for that. Adobe Reader, another one that's might as well leave on there. Microsoft Works. The Mozilla Firefox is the one item that we did put on the computer. Uh, we've got an MXML parser. Uh, basically, it's not a problem. Now we finally get to Norton Internet Security. So that's the first Norton things that we've seen so far. Um, then we've got a Realtek high definition audio driver, uh, Widcom Bluetooth. Now I don't see anything else up here. Sometimes in the, uh, we would see other parts of Norton's in other areas, but this is the only one we see. So I'm going to go ahead and sh click Change Remove. Now what this is doing is at the Windows level, we're asking Norton the software, please remove yourself from my computer. Most um, larger software companies have uninstallers. In other words, they have things built in that will remove their software, um, hopefully correctly. Since nothing else has really been done to this computer, nothing in the realm of antivirus, really only one application has been installed and that was just a browser. Um, there's no reason this shouldn't install, uninstall very easily. So we'll say Norton Complete Uninstall as opposed to Custom. And it's saying that we might be at risk because we are connected to the internet. However, we're removing our antivirus software. Now, normally that's not a good idea, but of course we're going to add antivirus software right back in as soon as this one's gone. I do remove the old stuff first. Um, basically, since I think of them as bodyguards, and you're not going to necessarily bring a new bodyguard in with the old one standing there. You're probably going to fire the, the first one and then bring in that second one so that there's no trouble. Uh, they're both trying to guard the door and when they both want to stand on the same place watching the same area doing the same protection they sometimes run into problems so it's asking us to restart that's fine we'll let it say okay and we'll and it looks like we're ready to go so now we've removed Norton's um, as far as things go that should have given us a little bit more startup uh, capacity one less thing the computer's doing when it turns on.